You want to manifest something? You want something in particular? Well, first, let me congratulate you. A desire, especially a strong desire, is the universe working through you. The source, the creator, the universe wants to give you the object of your desire so that you can be inspired and do actions that lead to a better world. Hello, positive peeps. I am the Positivity Princess. My name is Lori and I'm here to teach you a very short five lesson course called Manifestation 101. If you're excited to manifest your dream desires, click that like button and comment below. I'm excited to manifest my desire. This is a method that you can use to manifest a concrete object or thing into your life. Anything that can come into your head already exists, either in reality or in potential. Thoughts are energy and everything else is energy too. For a thought to become a thing, it just needs to go through a process called transmutation. I will show you how to do this in this five day series. I'm going to encourage you to choose something small to begin but really any size item is doable as the universe does not distinguish between small or large items. It's the confines of your own mind that create limitations. Okay, enough talk. This five part video series will run all week, Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. You will powerfully send your desires out and at the end of the five days, we will release the desire. We will detach and then it will be on its way. Some will see results within the week, others it'll take a little bit longer. That's the beauty of this, a lot of surprises. Okay, click that subscribe bell and notification. It's very important. I don't want you to miss the next step of this process. You are going to take your actions one step further. You are going to do something a little unorthodox, but nonetheless effective and fun. Today, I'm going to do the final step of Manifestation 101. I want you to finally act out your desire in some form. So step one, we decided what we wanted and we created a personal statement of desire. Step two, we added feeling when we repeat this morning and night. We also took the desire down from the pedestal. Step three, you said your personal statement of desire in the morning and at night with feeling and you added positive affirmations to your day. Step four, you did the same as day three, although you did a snapshot visualization in the evening before bed. Today, I want you to add one more action. It is not too time consuming, I promise. You simply are going to act out or role play yourself in the state of having your desire fulfilled. This is supposed to be super fun. Here are the steps. A, decide on the scenario, short interaction or story that will happen. B, choose one or two props to add. This makes it more real, but you don't absolutely have to do this. C, conjure the feeling state that you will have upon being in the state of having a desire. And D, do the short role play or interaction out loud with actions and props. Like you're acting in a play, it's, ve it's very effective. Here's mine. Recall, I am manifesting a camera. Here's my role play. I decided to use Baby Yoda because he is a great classical trained actor. Here, Bali the lamb. I'm going to be taking a few shots for this photo shoot. Are you super excited? So am I. Let's get some nice little shots here. Okay, let's see happy. Let's see, let's see excited. All right, let me get a good angle over here. Okay. Now, I want you to give each other a high five. No? Okay, cool, cool. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Here. After you've done that, I want you to finish with this. Okay, now I want you to hold on to the feeling of having your desire for a little longer. Close your eyes, see it in your hands, use your senses. And then in your mind, say to the object, see you soon. Put the object down, thank the universe and move on. This item will be yours soon. This will be you detaching from the desire. The final step is crucial. Releasing and letting go shows the universe that you trust it to take the item from your imagination and bring it into the physical world. Pay attention for signs and messages from the universe. Most of the time, you have to do very little and it will not feel like work even when you do have to do an action. Allow it, do not resist. This was part five of five. Next week, we'll do a five-day series of daily motivational messages. So look forward to that.
Okay, everyone, I'm so excited that we are doing this. You are going to be a manifestation maniac really soon. Type in the comments below. I'm a powerful being, and you are. You can have anything you desire. If one person can do it, so can you. I hope you know this. If you are new to the law of attraction, I would like to mention that I led everyone here on YouTube through a 30 day law of attraction crash course for beginners. I've posted a link to that playlist. It's a great place to start. Okay, thank you for watching. I love you all so much and I'm happy to be here in my little positive population. Okay, peeps, you make me so happy. I love you all. Have a great day and a be positive.